came to Nizwa today, it's 140 kilometers from uh, Muscat. It's the oldest, city, the oldest city of Oman and uh, the capital of Oman till 1950. You can see uh, carpets being sold outside the market and there are a lot of potteries and crockeries, necklaces, silver necklaces are sold inside the market. So let's go inside and check it out.
right in middle of Nizwa Fort. Nizwa Fort is inside the Nizwa Souk and which covers the whole city from all the sides. People from this city go out of the fort, go to the market, sell their products and end of the day they come inside their city to their homes which are covered by the Nizwa Fort. It's Namaz time, so I'm just waiting for my driver to come from the mosque. Uh, I'm in the middle of Tanub, just to give, give you an update. Dating back 1950s, the Imamate of Oman, who was reigning the whole Oman long time and was based in uh, Nizwa, wanted to take over the Sultan. The Sultan was in Muscat, so when Sultan got to know that they wanted to take over, take over, dethrone the Sultan from the mascot. He asked for help from the British government and British government sent the total forces down, down to the air, air strike and they sent fighter pilot planes to destroy the Tanuf city where the Nizwa, Nizwa Imamates were also staying, so the Tanu city and the Nizwa city partially was destroyed. The new city has been commissioned by the Sultanate of Oman after he took over this Nizwa and the Tanu. The Nizwa city is being rebuilt, few of those houses are being kept uh, like the same way. But the Tanu city, the city which was destroyed, left like that only and it was, it is now a world heritage site. And uh, here we are standing right now in the new city waiting to go to the World Heritage Site. From Tanuf, I'm going back to Muscat. The day started very good and I had a great fun going to the souk in Nizwa and the fort in Nizwa. But when I came to Tanuf and I saw the whole city, how it is being ruined thoroughly. When you stand in between these ruins, you actually feel sad. You actually feel the cry of those people who were inside those houses. It actually makes you so sad that you wish no one ever faced this same thing. From Tanov, thank you very much. Bye-bye.